All right, guys, welcome back to Undead Legacy. It is Horde Night 63, our first Horde Night in the Wasteland, and it's going to be interesting. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, so we're going to put the pipe bombs down there. I'm not expecting to have to do a whole lot of repairing, but we do have a little bit of steel and concrete and iron with us in case we do uh, need to do some repairing. And um, why don't we put those there? And let's just see what happens. Um, like I said, I don't know how effective this is going to be. But what I'm hoping is, you know, we get zombies falling down into the into the pit here enough for us to throw bombs down and, and you know, blow some of them up. Okay, he went down to the pit. That's good. See, now when they get down in that water, that water's kind of deep. So... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, he's still doing a bit of a number on the wall, though, so. Hmm. All right, well, let's at least, uh, light him up. Oh, there's a few going down there. Okay. There's a few going down there. It looks like maybe the pipe bombs are messing up the, the water a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Okay. We also have some buzzard action. Yeah, look at him just breaking that away. So I don't know how long <laughs> I don't know how long this is gonna last. Well, we'll see. Oh wow! He came, came right on through the thing and nailed us. Okay, let's take a bandage. Why didn't? that go all the way down it's like it's uh what the hell it's not falling all the way down i don't know that's weird all right here let's get back out here for a second that was really bizarre see it's like going down in slow motion I don't understand. That is weird. Okay. Hey, cop blew up down there. That actually might not be a bad thing if they break out a couple holes, because you know then maybe they'll be more encouraged to fall down into the into the pit. We'll see. I like to hang out in that little spot. We have vultures. Oh, no, that's from Cop Spit. Okay. Okay, so they broke through there. You can encourage them to fall down into the the pit, then we can blow them up. That is so weird that it's falling down so slowly like that. That one fell all the way down. There we go. We got a little action there. Okay, come on guys, down into the pit. There goes slow motion down there. Doesn't get down far enough to do anything. Maybe if we get straight up here and throw it straight down, that's a little better. Okay. So keep an eye on those buzzards. Yeah, we need to get him um, to break. He's there. All right, let's take another bandage. Get 
down into the pit, man. All right. Let's jump up here and throw one down. There we go. That went down. Can we get one down there? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no, it fell out. <laughs> that was... This is a little bit risky because if I jump too far, I'm going down the hole myself. Alright, we got cops down there. Get out of there. going a little slow too. So yeah, this is only sort of kind of effective. It's not uh, working as well as I had hoped that it would. Now that buzzard is driving me nuts. Let's see if we can kill it. Where are you? Get down here. I don't want to go get too much further over that way. Down this way, dumbass. All right, whatever. Can we see him over here? We've got a few down there now. There's a buzzard. Shut up. Get out of here. That's risky as all get out. Here, let's try this. It's a nice little group of them down there. That's getting us a little bit of XP. Okay. Got a few down in the hole again. Where are you, buzzard? I think they're just right up on the top there. Oh, shit. <laughs> that one's inside. Where is he? Ah, oh, they broke through the, the top there. Okay. That's fine with me. Then I can get to him. Because nothing else is going to come through there. Come on down through. Is that it for the buzzards? Nope, we got another one. Alright, let's try this again. Getting us a little XP. There you go. Okay, hopefully that takes care of all the buzzards. 
Well, until the next batch comes, anyways. What if we went over here? Uh, could we get him to come over here and we could throw a couple of bombs at him? They're staying down there. That put the herd on the, the one guy. The nice thing about this POI is there's lots of you know lots of room for me to to move around so you know we can kind of spread out the damage so to speak. Hit a few there. Hmm. Oh shit! You got up here. I couldn't. Uh, my mouse was stuck. I couldn't move it all the way over. So those guys can just about jump over. Well, they can. That one guy did. Hmm, we might have to break that down even further or something if we if we use this area a whole lot all right let's go back to here okay, there's nobody down in the hole at the moment I'm gonna take another bandage actually let's take two more bandages sure everybody's loaded here. Yeah, they don't uh, they don't really like to go down in there too much, do they? Okay, well, here. What if we Oh, a little bit of lag there. That's going to get us killed. Throw a couple bombs down that way. Um, I kind of liked it on the ramp. What happens if we stand here? <laughs> Larry stepped right on top of the bomb. Okay, let's go back down here. Kind of going back and forth and back and forth. We're almost to the next level. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at them all there. Wow. Okay. Not good from a cop's spit perspective. And the spiders can get up here. But man, that was a lot of them congregated right there, which means explosive damage for us, baby. Okay, we better uh, take another bandage before we get spit on again. Actually, we'll take a couple bandages. We're just about to that next level. There we go. Got the next level.
Okay. We are down to... Um, we're down to 46 pipe bombs left. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go try our other spot and just see how it does. Our second uh, fallback place. So we're going to run up here. And cross over this way. I just want to see, you know, if they'll congregate down below us uh, over here enough for us to get some effective explosions in. Uh, let's make sure our stamina is back before we attempt this jump. And we need to eat, too. So, uh, well, we actually need to drink more than eat. I'm going to take both of these mineral waters. Okay, so let's jump up here. And... Come up this way. And down in through here. We'll close that. So vultures don't get to us. And this, you know, this may not work very well either, but we'll try it. Um, I'm also going to, I was meaning to patch this and I completely forgot to, but we're going to put a half block in here. Uh, not centered. Here. That was really laggy. Uh, oh, I need to... Uh, I need it to go the other direction. Like that. There. So that way we don't accidentally fall down here ourselves. Because we can walk on this and not fall through it. Okay, now. How many of them are directly below us? I see some down there. Let's just see what kind of XP pops up when we do this. 1650. Nothing that time. <clears throat> All right. We might need to wait for just a little bit. Uh, give them a chance to get up here and, you know, kind of congregate right below us. Let's do a double. Okay. We got some XP that time. I don't know. Maybe this is a more effective way of doing this. Got a couple of them that time. Let's try it again. This is definitely a lot safer, <laughs> uh, but we're we're not going to be getting like five levels in one night doing this. Oh, that's probably not going to do anything, actually. Nope. It's kind of a more more of a knee jerk reaction there. Hmm. I wonder if they've. Uh, I wonder if they've broken their path up. No. He's there. But they're. They're definitely not all just right below us. Uh, some of them are probably caught up or more focused on bringing the building down than getting to us. But they're not going to bring this building down tonight. Um, and, you know, we can go around it. If, if we decide to stay, use this rather than the other thing, we could, um, reinf you know, reinforce it and stuff too. I see one Zombo down there. There we go. We got a little XP on that one.
Okay, well, this is this is not we're not getting a lot of action out of this one. Um, but definitely a safe a safe bet. Okay. Why don't we go back to the garage? I got, almost got caught up on that ladder there. That one time when they were all congregated kind of down and we looked down the ramp and the cop spit, that was that was the most concentrated grouping of them that I've seen so far. Let's go down here again. Oh shit, there's a cop. So we were standing there for a while, but they all seemed, uh, the majority of them seemed to go down that way. Oh, look at you, Edgar. You're stuck. Here, have a bomb. Have two. <laughs> there you go. We get definitely get more action this way. Um, it's a little more dangerous because of the cops, but... That other... Uh, you know, our fallback place is really, you know, really quite safe as long as the building holds up. But, again, not not a lot of action XP-wise. And he's stuck down there, too. All right, now, let's go back around again like we did before to this side. And, yeah, we got... A fair amount of them down there. This really, you know, aside from the danger from the cop spit, this really isn't a bad setup here, all things considered. Especially since we're just using what was already here and we didn't really build anything. We just need to figure out a way to try and get them more grouped up and confined so we can really rake in that XP. And, you know, that probably means I'm going to have to build something, which which is fine. That's part of... Oh, shit. That's part of the game and what makes it fun. Where's that cop at? I'm lagging really bad, so it's really hard to... Get accurate shooting in here. Cop. Hate it when the cop blows him up because I don't get the XP for it. Oh, another cop. You miss, sucker. Yeah, this lagging's going to get me in trouble here. Go back around to this side. Get them all right there. Watch out for the cop. We'll eventually, you know, do this with grenades too. So with our level five explosive skill and grenades will we'll do pretty good maybe in, in the really late game maybe even rocket launchers but that oh, that's expensive rocket launchers are really expensive that's our last bomb okay yeah, so this this was kind of a bust, but doesn't surprise me. I wasn't really expecting it to, you know, be anything effective, but we tried it, so it was fun. So for the next Horde night, you know, we might just do this again. I'll, I'll make sure everything is nice and, nice and repaired down there, the really important stuff, reinforce that sort of thing. And then, you know, we just kind of run around to a few different spots, 
let them group up and then throw bombs on their head, and it seemed, seems to work real pretty good. I just got to do dodge the spit from those guys, uh, you know, <laughs> when that happens, so... All right, it is morning. Now, I don't really have the firepower to kill all these guys. Let's let the cop kill some of them off. Or, I mean, the ammo is what I'm trying to say. Soften some of them up, but we want to try and get them out of here fairly quickly so we can go get the loot. Tell you what, are there any are there any really bad ones left, like cops? I don't think so. All right, let's do this. Let's go back to our base, and we'll finish off the rest of them back at our base where we can melee them. I don't want really want cops. Okay, there's a cop there. Get out of the way so I can shoot the cop. Coming up there so much. Even if we damage him enough so he just blows up, that's I'm fine with that. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's go uh, back over here. And I don't know. I don't know if they'll actually follow us over there. They probably will because they're Blood Moon Zombos. Well, no. I, don't, I think they turn into normal zombies uh, in the morning. Uh, we are encumbered a little bit. What is so damn heavy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so heavy. It doesn't make s Oh, I know why. Because at nighttime, I can carry more weight because I got that buff. Okay, well, you know what? Let's not take a chance. I'm going to pop steroid so we can move freely here. Okay. Whoops. Let's jump up here, and we'll just see if they, they'll follow us over here. Because I'm not worried about finishing the remainder of them off up here, but I want to get them to come over here is the thing. Sounds like a few of them are coming, but if we're just going to get a trickle, we could probably kill most of them right here and not have to get to our base. All right, here, I got an idea. Let's do this. Let's get you down there. Right, come on, dummies. Wow, look at all that destruction. Okay, we got one customer. Oh, maybe not. She decided, forget it. I'm not coming. Okay, did we kill Edgar? Or is he just knocked over? Just pull them. If we can just pull a few over at a time, we'll, you know, we'll be fine. We can finish them off. Okay, we killed him. There's a dog over there. Oh, forget out of here, you piece of shit. Okay, let's be ready to run if there's a, still a big group that comes after us. Got Hawaii five O. Let's get Steve over here too. Oh, I missed him. Are you fair? Oh, you're you're about dead, dude. Yeah. You must have taken some explosive damage. Okay, come on, Steve. He's feral. Let's grab our arrows here. Hey, there's a cement mixer right here. Too bad it didn't work, eh? Okay. 
We'll have to check all that stuff out later. All right. Who's left? We've got a military guy. Okay, somebody over here. Marlene? I think that's about it. I hear footsteps over that way. All right, well, let's pop this eye candy and the luckies. And let's grab some loot here real quick. See what we get here. All right, icebreaker pickaxe. Is there any? There's loot over here, yeah. I can't quite get. Oh, yeah, we can get to it from there. Okay, and some loot there. You know, can I get back out of here? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let's get some air. Yeah, I'm going to have to break this out, I think. Um, let's just break it out. I'm not going to use this um, shoot again. At least not... I don't think I will. It just didn't seem to work too well. Up, 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 up. Seriously? Get the hell up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't get out of here. There we go. Wow. Okay. Let's grab this loot. Oh, nice mining helmet. Food and shotgun shells, more food. Okay. I think that's it for down in the basement. Okay, this is where we were really blowing them up here. Is that it, though? Hmm, I thought we had a little bit more loot than that, but... Looks like that's probably about it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right. Well, in terms of surviving, I'd say that was a pretty successful horde night. And, um, I mean, if we really wanted to be safe and not get any XP, which we don't, but if we did, our, our second fallback location seemed really safe. Uh, again, provided the building itself can withstand the damage um so i'm gonna have to come you know through here and look and see what condition everything is in in regards to that but uh yeah i, I like the garage like i said uh it seemed to work it is a bit open so you know buzzards can be a problem cop spit can be a problem but I think it's, you know, I think it's pretty safe. It would take a lot, I think, for them to completely bring down this building. But though they could do it, you know, uh, so we'd have to keep it maintained and reinforced and all that if we were to, to use it on a regular basis. So I'll think about it. You know, I don't know for sure if, if we're going to do that. I, I know it's nice to know that it's an option for us. You know, if we if we run out of time and we don't have a better solution, we can always use this place again or use our second fallback place. I don't think our our base right now, as it currently is, could withstand the full brunt of of the horde. Um, but it could certainly we could certainly use it, you know, towards the end of the night kind of thing. So, but we'll give it some thought and you know see what happens next. But we will probably use this garage again for for the next horde at least. But whether or not we use it long term permanently, uh, I'm not sure yet. So. We'll just see how things go. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Oh, look, there's fat loots over there. We should go grab that fat loots. Let's do it. Uh, and then we'll end. I don't think I ever checked this van either. Let's check the van. Okay. 
we came up here, but I never actually completed all the looting. Did did I do we go up here? Yeah, we did come up here. I remember coming up here, but we never we never grabbed the fat loot. So let's do that. We'll check this car as well. Since we still have a little bit of uh well, we have 58 seconds left. <laughs> all right, let's get get to this. Uh, Night Stalker, uh, Stalker Volume 5. Uh, bows do 10% more damage at night. Yeah, we're going to take that. Let's check this quick. Uh, the Mo Power. We've got 42 seconds left on our eye candy. Um, again, we're just going to scrap all of this stuff for now. What's that? Power? Yeah, nah. I'd rather have the research data right now. And finally, the chamois crate. We'll have some charred meat. What the hell? All right. So, yeah, that is it, guys, for uh, Horde Night 63. Didn't get a ton of XP. Uh, we did get one level. But uh, more importantly, we survived, and we're not really in any point in danger, uh, or at any point were we in, in major danger, uh, except for, the you know, the cop spits and the vultures attacking them, but, you know, we were able to deal with that, so... I'm going to let you guys go here. Not sure what's going to happen in the next episode, but I will certainly let you know when I bring you back. I might take a day off and do some more resource gathering, you know, get stuff repaired around here, um, and then that way we, we're free to loot and explore and do all that kind of stuff for the rest of the week. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.